Pete Rowland. Pete Rowland. Yeah. I'd like to, like to take a few minutes, please, to let us introduce the band. Down here, shining brightly on keyboards, Mr. Lester Langdale. All right, the keyboard man. <laughs> oh, yeah. On electric lead guitar, Larry Driggers. Thank you. Thank you very much. He thinks he's Elvis. LSD, that's what they tell me. Pete, have you got the... Yeah. Yeah. This I next do. person we want to introduce is uh, down here on the end with the shiny... <laughs> We're kind of like the same. We, just, is, we don't have... Is my hair messed up? Uh, yeah, it's a little bit messed up. Both of them are, I think. This is Frank Crumpler from Houston, Texas. Think about, he, he flies all the way in for our rehearsals. Of course, he lived in Jacksonville when we were playing. But, and he wrote all the horn parts. He's, a, he's the man. Yeah. The, and this man right here on the, the other trumpet, uh, we've got a little surprise for, but I want, I want you to know that we would have never, ever played again if it wasn't for Jimmy Moore, our trumpet player. <laughs> you may not know how much work it is to do all this, but Jimmy is retired and he get, he's given hundreds of hours to pull this off. I mean literally hundreds. And we've got a plaque of appreciation for it. And we have a, a little token of our appreciation. And it's, uh, it says, in appreciation to James Willie, <laughs> James Willie for going the extra mile, keeping the flame alive, and being the driving force, rocking the pavilion, July 30th, 2005. No tears, no tears. I Thank you, Jim. Thank you. Thank you, Jimmy. On the bass guitar, Billy Harden. Yeah. Woo! That's and his buddy. fan club. All right. That's my buddy. <laughs> On the drums, one of the best drummers that's ever lived, Mr. Ted Vaughn. And on drums and fantastic vocals, Pete Rowland. <laughs> and probably one of the probably one of the greatest Christian men I have ever known in my life. Amen. Most Samuels. And he sings too. And he ain't a bad singer either, you know? <laughs> Woo! What? You want to let's, listen? No, let's, let's do one more then. Okay. Did they forget you? You forgot him. He doesn't count. Uh -uh. He doesn't really I'm, count. I'm, I'm totally embarrassed. The re... Mel Fannin, the saxophone player, was not an original, wait a minute, let me tell you the story. He was not an original member of Mouse and the Boys. All the rest of us, believe it or not, we're still alive, aren't we? Are we still alive? I Mel, so. Mel and I have been friends, it may have ended tonight, but Mel and I have been friends for about 45 years. We played in competing bands together when we were teenagers. And because Frank lived in Houston and may not, we were worried about whether, you know, his travel and if he couldn't make it, we asked Mel if he would come learn the horn parts, and when he started practicing with us, we loved it so much, we asked him to be the official ninth member of Mouse and the Boys, Mel Fannin. Now you ready for some more music? <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah, we've 